Hey there, Parks You. I'm Lucas. And I'm Adam. And we're here with some world and national news for you guys. Construction crews were scheduled to bring up the final two sections of the New World Trade Center this past Monday, but the delivery was delayed due to inclement weather. Once they are installed, this will make the New World Trade Center the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. Yep, and this World Trade Center will top out at about 1,776 feet. 1776? Yep. I guess the architects have quite a sense of humor. Moving on! The Boy Scouts apparently have a problem with Den leader Jennifer Tyrell because she came out as a lesbian. The organization's Ohio River Valley Council sent her a letter saying, and quote, you must immediately sever any relationship you may have with the Scouts. It also went on to say that we reserve the right to refuse registration whenever there is a concern that an individual may not meet the high standards of membership the BSA seeks. Boy Scouts of America are already okay with gay scouts, but they're now reconsidering their policy on gay leaders. It'll be interesting to see how this develops. Yeah, it will. In other news, students from Wilcox County High School hosted their first integrated prom last weekend. Wait, you mean they've had segregated proms? Like, what is this, 1964? Yeah, I know, really. But uh, for the past 40 years, the student proms were private, racially segregated events. After this uh, prom story went viral, people offered up to support like cash and dresses and DJs. And the high school will consider hosting a prom in 2014? Yes, third, second. Well, well, I guess good for them. Way to yeah, keep no. up with the times. It's pretty crazy. But uh, for as long as most of the students can remember, Wilcox County High School hasn't sponsored a prom for like all 400 of their students. So the parents and their children just organize their own private events and parties. So they just had, then they called them like the white prom, the black prom. Yeah, basically. It's weird. <sighs> Moving on. James Everett Dutchke, a 41-year-old man, uh, was arrested on Saturday on charges of possessing and using ricin to send President Obama and various other political figures letters. So like, to poison them. Yeah. Yeah, because ricin, as we know, is a very toxic and potent poison used in the assassination of various political figures. Yeah. Uh, he was arrested and is currently being held without bail, awaiting a preliminary hearing later this week. His attorney, the unfortunately named George Lucas, told Alexander that they had not yet had time to go through the complaint. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Yes, and also there is no relation to this George Lucas yes. and the George Lucas that makes... Yes, this will have Star no Wars. effect on Star Wars 7 at all. Thank you, thank you, Parkview, for putting up with us for a very long two minutes. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.